<laughs> Mrs. Rogers said we have to straighten up the room before he went to school. <laughs> Looks like you have a lot of work to do. <laughs> oh, y'all real funny. Better get to work. <laughs> I'll get to work all right. <laughs> president anyway. It's an honor. And plus, I got great ideas that can make Hendricks Middle School a whole lot better. Uh... Maybe you should save those ideas for next year. What? I didn't get nominated? Not this time. Well, I put my name on the roster, and I should have gotten enough signatures. Who did get nominated? Who cares? Let's bounce, though. Not this <laughs> get out of my way! You got how come you didn't tell me you wanted to run? Because I didn't. And I don't. Yeah, right. I'm serious, Luke. Stop my music. I'm not interested in politics. Hey, what's that? Probably a fan letter. Meet me in the field behind the gym after school. Your future depends on it. Sincerely, Deep Net. Deep Net? If this is the one who put me up for nomination, I'm gonna change his name to Broken Egg. The 18th? That's this Friday. I think Mr. Rogers meant for us to say that. Yeah, I wonder how old she's gonna be. A lady never reveals her age. Mrs. Rogers isn't a lady. She's been in a circus. Okay. Anyways, I called Dad and he thought my idea to throw Mrs. Rogers' a surprise party was great. I think it's great, too. Can I make the cake? Uh, no. But I make a great peanut butter banana cake. I can make a real tall one. Jerry, forget it. Dad's calling the baker. Oh, why is your father calling the baker? Uh, I didn't say baker. Yes, you did. Um, uh, no, I said baker. Oh, why is he calling the baker? Because, well, see, Dad's bankrupt. He is? Yes, and it came as a big surprise. Surprise to him. Me too. Gary, let's go upstairs and see if we can find some things we don't need that we can sell. Well, I need all my toys, but you can sell my underwear. Oh no, buddy, this is terrible. If Mr. Miller is bankrupt, then then he's gonna have to cut back on spending, and and the last hired is the first fired. <laughs> What are we gonna do? Well, I could give him my money. 
But all I have are big top bucks that I saved from the circus, and all you can buy with those are cotton candy and corn dogs and seven finger gloves. I know. I could get a part time job, and I can make money and help the family. What? What do you mean, what can I do? Don't forget that I'm a University of Clownage graduate with a PhD in red noses and dopey dances. <laughs> This is it. Well, where's Deep Neck? Oh, Romeo! Ooh. I should have known. You put my name on the list. Yes, I did. But why? I don't want that job. I know, but Lewis does. <laughs> that shrub has lost her mind. But the whole school will vote for you, Romeo, my darling. And Lewis could run as your vice president. Who wants to be vice president? They don't do anything important. I know, but the vice president moves up if the president gets expelled, quarantined with a contagious disease, or killed. That's a great idea. Hold up. My, I know you. Where are you getting out of this? I'll run on the ticket as treasurer. Once you resign, we both move up. So, you get something out of this scam, and Lewis gets something. And I just roll over and play lame duck? Not really, because with the two of us in power, guess which bank is to play at all school dances and social events. So do we have a deal? Deal? Deal. But somehow I Lewis would never forgive me. So true. And you? Well, you won't go away no matter what I do. Later. Bye. Ugh. Oh, buddy. You're a sight for sore thighs. I went from agency to agency, store store and no one would hire me. I guess a degree in dopey dances and face painting and balloon animals and red nose wearing doesn't go as far as it used to. <laughs> what? No, I am not going to give up. I am going to try again tomorrow. Let's take a hot bath. Come on, buddy. <laughs> So, what are you making for my snack? Uh, how about earwax and jelly sandwiches? Gross! You know I hate jelly. <laughs> Wash your hands, smarter. <laughs> See it my way. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Did you know Mrs. Rogers tried to get a job putting plastic on the tips of shoelaces? <laughs> You're kidding. Why would she leave us to do that? She's not going anywhere. Now let's go shopping. <laughs> How can you shop at a time like this? We're shopping so that we can throw Mrs. Rogers the best surprise party she's ever had and show her how much we love her. 
How much love are we talking about? Well, Dad said I can use his credit card to buy her a gift. One? He said one, but I think he meant one from each of us kids. At least that's what I'll say I thought he meant. You're good. I know. Now come on, let's shop till we pop. Call me up for president. That's cool. I thought we were supposed to meet for lunch. Now I've got a plan all worked out to win people and influence votes. But you said everybody will vote for me. Come on, Romeo. This is politics. You have to touch the flesh. See the people. Let them know you care. Even when you don't. That's what politics is all about. Now, first up, the wrestling club. Or as I like to call them, no necks with great pecs. Put on a good show, but let them win. We'll have the jocks, the nerds, the whole school voting for Romeo. <laughs> Circle, y'all stand up. Everybody get crumped, throw your hands up, scream loud. This is the time to vote now. Vote for president, I came to rock the crowd. Stop playing. I want to see you bouncing and waving. Romeo's in the house, it's a special occasion. Oh. Romeo for president, that's cool. Want everybody to vote, that's cool. Who do you love? That's wrong. Who got it going on? That's wrong. Oh. Romeo for president, that's cool, want everybody to vote, that's cool, who do you love, that's wrong, who got it going on, that's wrong. <laughs>
intended to be president but once the power and perks got a hold of me i liked it too much to let go and now well here i am all those in favor of impeachment raise your hands by majority vote you are no longer president of the student body does that mean i'm the new president yes great move to impeach Seconded. He's just as much to blame as Romeo. No. Hold up. Lewis really should be president. I'm not just saying this because he's my brother, but he really cares about school politics. He's a good guy. You should fire him. All those in favor of impeachment, raise your hands. By majority vote, you are no longer president of the student body. Talk about short terms. I've had gum that lasted longer. Myra, 